What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Nate here from Out of the Basement, bringing you a brand new figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning Dream Sequence Jason from NECA Toys. It's a lot to say. Uh, this is the latest Ultimate Jason to come out from NECA, so of course, your boys gotta review it, and I promise at some point I will review Part 2 Jason. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So let's take a look at the box here. You can see the front has this very nice artwork, classic artwork for Friday the 13th Part 5. On the side, you've got an image of the figure. On the back here, you've got a couple different poses. You also have a nice description right there. You can pause it and read it. You've got the VHS cover mask the blood running down the mask and just the nice cool pose right there dirty pose and also the head with worms on it this comes with four interchangeable heads a damaged left hand machete axe ice pick and tombstone and of course the nice window package reveal look at jason in all of his glory looks pretty good I'm very excited about this figure so let's go ahead we'll take a look at the accessories and then we will take a look at Jason himself and of course this is what the background piece looks like it's just a little coffin thing okay here are his accessories as you can see what I listed off is right in front of us here so we'll start with the tombstone which is right at the beginning of the movie the scenes that still have uh, Corey Feldman in it and this just looks great looks so accurate very nice wood texturing it is actually a part of the plastic and it is painted well so you've got nice details of course it's a NECA figure we know this I say this every review the dirt even looks really good has nice little bits of black paint in there to give some good rain muddy detail to the actual tombstone and first we've got the machete right here a clean machete and the paint job is clean I really like the silver on it of course NECA knows how to make their bladed weapons look really good uh, the dots on the handle, nice and clean, very awesome. And we've got this ice pick here, which has a nice single brown color right there, and it does have a little flat piece so you can set it down without it rolling around as you would suspect. But yeah, again, the paint job just looks really good on that. And then we've got this uh, bloody double-sided axe, which looks really good. The blood has two different shades of red in it. There's also seeming seemingly maybe a little bit of brown in there but yeah it looks good it's nice and detailed and the wood also has sculpting on the actual handle here that you can see and that just looks good this axe looks really good it's nice to have a uh, clean axe and I think it is actually a little bit different too than the axe that you get with the with the part 4 Jason as you can see right here this one is much bigger it looks much nicer it looks kind of more realistic in my opinion and this one's really dinky and small and has a tiny handle but yeah I really like the way that this axe is actually designed and then we'll take a look at the hand here this is the split hand from the end of part four slash I don't actually know if this is in part five I watched part five not too long ago but my mind is I'm drawing a blank right now but Look at all of the incredibly gruesome details in there. The hand is super decayed for sure. You've got nice little dark red paint for the blood running down the hand and you can actually see through the wound right there. And this just looks really gruesome. Lots of awesome detail in there. Love the way that the paint is mixed together to give you a dark, bloody, nasty, decaying feel looks really awesome and in case you were wondering about this is a part four Jason you can see right here that it fits right on so if you want to have a super accurate part four figure I even think the skin tone it's pretty decent it's a pretty decent match you can see right there so you can definitely put it on your part four figure and then have a super accurate end scene if you would like to do that which is actually what I'm gonna be doing with the hand piece so I'm just actually you know what I'm just gonna leave it on okay and let's take a look at the heads right here we've got the dirty mask which is just kind of the same as the fur as the mask that Jason has on with the worms just no worms this is kind of the general look in a couple of the dream sequences and something interesting to note about these figures is actually all of the heads are sculpted onto the face so you do not actually get an unmasked Jason look with this figure 
I think it's cool. I don't mind that it's sculpted on. I have plenty of other Jasons that I can unmask, but I could see if someone was getting this as their first Jason, you know, they might be a little bit disappointed. But yeah, just a heads up, all of the masks are sculpted onto the heads. I love the way that this mask looks too, just the single blood streak running down the side of the mask. That scene in the movie is honestly pretty creepy, especially for Friday the 13th. And then we've got the VHS cover art mask right here, which is awesome. This is definitely the head that I'm going to be putting on my Part 5 Jason, just because I remember being a little kid and you always saw it in the video store and you're like, that's not even Jason's mask. This guy looks like, uh, you know, just looks like a regular goalie, your nondescript hockey mask, or that guy from, you know, Mad Max. Uh, but the details on this head are awesome. You can see the silver buckles are super cleanly painted on. The red eyes also very clean. You've got tons of shading around the head, the veins, everything. The sculpt work is just incredible. I really love the way that these figures are turning out, and I really just love these heads specifically. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Jason himself. So here is Jason out of the package, and he looks awesome. Of course, this is mostly just a repaint of the other NECA Jason figures, but I, you know, I just need to own them all. And I'm such a big Friday the 13th fan that, of course, I was going to pick this one up, even though Part 5 might not be my favorite. So let's take a close look at Jason here. You can see all of the wonderfully disgusting details here's the mask with the worms on it and as you can see like I said it's pretty much the same dirty mask it just has worms on it and again it is sculpted onto the head and this head is a little dirty and a little disgusting you can see the veins in the back just really wonderful details on the head sculpts for these figures and you can see that he is shiny too which is a detail that I like uh, because he is wet looking in a lot of the scenes especially at the beginning of the movie uh, it is raining, so that is a wonderful detail on this Jason. Uh, I kind of would be interested in some variants of NECA figures that are, are rained on looking, but this one specifically, he's, he's extra shiny, so really nice added detail there. We'll take a look at his hands here. You can see how gruesome they are. They're definitely just a dark, dark brown and black the same hands that we've been seeing just various different paint jobs on them uh, he definitely still has a lot of blood dirt on his pants that you can see right there it's a little bit hard to tell because of how shiny the pants are on camera but there is bloody details on the jeans and they are a little bit darker and just to give you a, just a quick quick comparison to like part four Jason you can see right there part four's Jason his clothing is you know, it definitely has a sheen to it, but it's definitely not as wet as the Part 5 Dream Sequence Jason. And again, you can see on his pants, you can kind of get an idea of the blood that's on those pants as well, because it's pretty much the same, only slight different paint applications. So we can go into articulation as well here. Um, of course, if you've seen any of my Friday videos or you own any Jason figures, you know that they have all the same articulation. So he can look up a decent amount and he can also look down pretty far. Of course, his head's on a nice peg. So you got tons of movement. You got tons of range there. The arms do go out pretty far. This one's a little bit stiff, but he's fresh out of the package. So with a little bit of heat, I'm sure it would just come up just fine course his arms do move all the way around he has single jointed elbows they do get you just about 90 degrees so that's of course works just fine for Jason he's a big lumbering guy I wouldn't put him in any sort of crazy action poses of course you've got the wrist there all the movement all the range of movement that you could want from the peg this is just your standard NECA figure also uh, elbow swivel as well always forget about that one uh, waist swivel too he does move from side to side but ooh, you can hear him clicking pretty good as far as crunching forward with his legs straight not too much nothing there uh, he can kick out just about that far same thing with all of most of the other Jasons this is a soft piece of plastic so it doesn't really hinder any sort of movement you do get some rotation of the leg as well 
as well as at the knee, single jointed knee, which gets you less than 90, but it's okay. It's again, it's Jason. It's not anything crazy. And of course he does have some range of movement for his feet. There's a going down, there's up. Uh, the ankle pivot is there, of course, but it's pretty much blocked by the sculpted pants to hide the joint, which is fine for me. Again, the trade-off, I'm okay with it. Absolutely okay with it. So let's put his other head on, and we'll have him posed right there. That looks so awesome. And we're going to compare him to some other figures so you can get an idea of how tall he is. Of course, we've got part four right here, so you can see that they are the exact same height. Nothing different about them. Then uh, here is the McFarlane Jason, Jason X here, which I've got him holding uh, part six's spear. So I don't have his machete. There's Uber Jason next to the part five Jason. You can see Uber Jason looking really small. Can't wait for NECA to give us a nice updated new version of uber jason and here's jason next to officer k another neca figure here you can see that you know i kind of like this this isn't this isn't a bad height difference i feel like maybe k is a little tall but uh you know maybe jason can be in blade runner or something and then finally we are going to compare him to mezco deathstroke and you can see jason is way too big so there's a nice comparison for all of you scale hounds out there so overall uh i definitely think this figure is great it's got tons of awesome fan goodies inside of it and of course it's just a good jason figure overall the paint detail is incredible the optional heads are awesome the price point is awesome all of the accessories are really good of course i'm a little bit biased because i'm a jason fanboy so if you want to nitpick that it's just the same body over and over and over again that's fine but it doesn't bother me particularly. So I definitely recommend this figure. It's a great Jason figure. I think even if you don't have a Jason, uh, you know, you don't have a part three or a part four Jason, this is a good figure to pick up anyway. You do kind of have a classic looking head with this mask, or if you just like the way the dirty mask looks, that's also a viable option. So this figure really has it all it's got some nice easter eggs for diehard fans of the franchise it comes with an extra hand that you can put on your part four figure and it comes with all these masks so this definitely is getting a heavy recommend from me uh it's just it's got a it's a great package comes with a lot of stuff like i said i don't know what else i can possibly say about it if you find this figure in target you can pick it up at big bad toy store definitely do it i recommend this figure to anyone this is a pretty decent starter jason like i said with all the options but it also has enough options to keep diehard fans like myself coming back to the figure so thank you so much for watching my review of course if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new ring that bell so you can get all of our notifications again like i said i'm going to be doing a review of <laughs> jason part two at some point i'm just so lazy i can't help it and also we're going to have a general veers black series review coming up along with admiral piet so stay on the lookout for those of course again i'm nate from out of the basement and i will see you next time